Hi, I'm Wesley. I'm a member of the Stria research team. I'm here to talk about some of the experiences we've had with user outreach and some of the difficulties that that has presented to us and that we have overcome. Hi, I'm Max. A major part of our user outreach this year because we're working with a blind individual um, and because a blind, we can't really empathize with blind individuals not being blind ourselves. So a major part of that component has been trying to understand how our users live life and how we can make life uh, easier and more convenient as well as safer for them. One really good way to make connections in your user community is to kind of network and be a part of that community almost. For example, one event that we attended was a thank you dinner um, that the one of the blind centers put together for volunteers and other people who had worked with them over the past year. We went there not really hoping to necessarily find somebody in specific, but just talking to the people there, we ended up making a couple contacts and they were really helpful for us. They put us um, in contact with more users and some of them worked a lot in the industry themselves. What we did is we actually found the um, contact pages of different centers for the blind all around the U.S. but mostly on the West Coast and then we emailed them asking them to send out the survey to their blind clients and then like that we could um, take in as much feedback as possible to then be incorporated into our product. when networking and making contacts in your user field don't be shy like everyone might have connections and even within your school community or at events you attend you can just talk about your project and people might surprise you uh, one really important piece of advice as you're researching with your user is cold calling and this is uh, when you kind of reach out to an individual or a company either by email, by phone, or in person and kind of out of the blue without a connection or a relationship with them, um, talk to them about, um, about what they do and how maybe they can help you, and you can, or you can help them. Um, so for example, when we were trying to find more opinions of the general population, a lot of what we did was cold calling uh, different blind centers across the country um, and asking them to share our survey and questions with their members. And a lot of times when you're cold calling something, there won't be a lot of success or people won't be respond won't respond but enough people will to make it useful and so it's really important to be able to cold call people and not get discouraged if there's not a lot of success at first right away. So as you're working on user outreach, it's pretty likely that you'll become more affiliated with one specific user and your relationship with them will grow and you'll tend to always want to come, come back to their opinion on how your product should be designed. Um, but a lot of the times their opinion might not represent the um, opinion shared by the majority of the community that they're in. So because of that, it's super, super important to just expand your outreach as large as possible. Always contact new people, always take your opportunities to make new connections and find new communities to survey.